going on? <laughs> What's good out there, y'all? Welcome back to another Lockout Men's Travels video. And I am here in Illinois. Trailer hunting. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I went on ahead and dropped my load over in uh, Aurora. Point one. No empty. Got on the horn with my fleet manager. He said, yo, go over here. Try, try over at Hub One. Point two. No empty. Now, I am here at the 55. It's one of our, what do you call it? I don't know, what do you call it? Y'all know what it is. It's one of our fuel stops. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to get some fuel from here. Point three, back over at the cold storage, which I was at yesterday sure that there's a couple of empties over there so i know i'll be able to snatch one up and guess where i'm going you guessed it i am heading over to Ryder. i hate that place good i'm good my pickup ain't until 4 30 this afternoon it's like 10 o'clock right now of course i'm not gonna have no hours to drive the next morning i will be beelining straight back to ohio not a fan not a fan of this place right here. Not a fan of getting fuel here, and definitely not a fan parking here. Y'all wanna know where I'm at? Where I'm at? I'm right here at Americo. I keep saying that. I'm at US Code. Picking up the trailer. Finally found it. 9155. 91955. That is the trailer. Got the trailer. Now I'm on my way over to Ryder. to Ryder over here in Rochelle, Illinois. The shipper is not one of my favorites. To be honest with you, the shipper and the receiver is not one of my favorites at all. I mean, they take all day to load over here and they take damn near twice as long over there to unload. I'm already off duty. I'm already off duty, so my clock it stopped my 10 hour is in effect it's like four something so i think my 10 hours should be up about three or four o'clock so usually i wake up at four o'clock but by 4 30 i am on the road so usually i get inspiration to talk about things stuff that i have read stuff that i have seen and i always like to bring it to you guys some of the stuff that i have read is 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 potent to our lifestyle out here on the road i want to go ahead and sit down with you guys right quick and holler at you about when you decide to get into this industry yeah i gotta write everything down but after i tell this to you make sure you you decide whether or not you know you want to come into this lifestyle dude because this is a lifestyle yo What's up? Uh, let me come down here and talk to you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? To all the people that think they would like to drive a semi, the truck right behind me for JNR Schwoogle, you really should know this. Yes, 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 sir. It's trucking game. This is what you guys want to get into. This is what you guys want to know about this is what you guys want to do you know what i'm saying whatever the reason that brings you guys into this game this is what's up the wages are really good it is i mean the wages are good this is the only industry where you can make about 40 to 50 to 80 grand a year you can up your lifestyle game you know what i'm saying you can up your lifestyle with nice homes nice cars Nice toys, you know what I'm saying? That good motorcycle that you always wanted. That nice 
house that you always wanted, that nice beamer that you always wanted. You can up your game, you can up your lifestyle game with that, man. I mean, trucking will provide that for you. Financial rewards are tempting. I mean, it's a, it is rewarding financially. I mean, if you jump from Burger King to being a truck driver, you will definitely see a significant difference in your finances. If you let it, it might just get into your blood. As you driving, you'll see the country, the whole United States of America, and get paid very well to do it. You will get home time. Maybe considerable home time, depending on how long you stay out. Stay out for a couple of months, might to get stay home for about a week or so. You will miss your family and your loved ones. If you got kids, if you got young kids, you, you're gonna miss them. You're gonna miss them. What'd I say, miss them? Miss them? Man, miss them. <laughs> Relationships is gonna get strained and will be pushed to the breaking point. You're gonna wish your life away when you are away. Yeah, you're gonna lay awake at night, man. You know, when you in the truck and you're a sleeper, you're gonna lay at night, sometimes wondering to yourself that why do I do this? And is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Are you still interested? Before you embark in this trucking game, I want you guys to remember what I'm about to tell you. You may not make every party, barbecue, wedding, or funeral. Well, you might make your wedding. And if it's somebody's close to you, you definitely gonna make the funeral. You may not be home for Christmas, Easter, 4th of July, or any other major holidays for that matter. You may not see your kids swim, ride a bike, or be there to read them stories at night. Oh yeah, you can forget about going to your kids' games, concerts, recitals, plays. You can forget about all of that. I'm just saying. Parent teaching conference? Nope. I'm sorry to say, but it's unfortunate that you won't be there during family crisis, family emergencies, whatever whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, sometimes you might just feel helpless being so far away that you can't do anything about it. So everything I just said is, is something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Before you even get into this game. Before anybody judges someone that has the guts the fortitude and the heart to get into this trucking game and the courage to work and try to make their lives better for themselves and for their families and those around them to try to make them better i just want to say that we sacrifice more than half of our lives being away from our loved ones, to make their dreams a reality, their dreams come true, to bring you the products that you want and that you need. Even on holidays, it's just another working day for us, you know, for us truck drivers. The few, but, also proud drivers 
of the trucking industry. And that, my friends, is my life. The trucker's life. Our life. Soon to be yours when you come into this game. So there you have it, people. There you have it. I mean, it's a lifestyle. It's a hectic lifestyle, man. But I like it. You know, I like it. And when you come into it, maybe you might like it too. I don't know. One other thing I like to add is about the experience. Now, I, I say that if you get two or more years of experience out on this road, then there's possibilities and other opportunities will open up for you. And that's for a company driver. Get more than one year of experience before you start venturing out to other companies. Wonder why I say that. And it's because the starter companies out here is looking for guys that been driving for three months, six months to a year. And those are like the major carriers out here. You know who they are, I don't need to mention them. But those the carriers that's, that's looking for drivers that been out here over the road for like three months, six months to a year. Now when you get like two years under your belt, then the opportunities will open up for you. You know, you got companies that's looking for drivers that's, that's, that got two, two or more years, your opportunities with them will be a lot better. You might get better pay, you'll get better home time, and you'll probably get treated better. Oh, if you driven and your mind is focused and you know what you want, make yourself better, then definitely get more than two years, all right? Up to two years or more, you know, after you come, after you come out of school, after you come off that trainer's truck, you know, it's a lot of sacrifice, I know, but in the long run, it will be better. And like I said, you might just be that driven person to be like, look, I want my own truck and I want it right now that is it for today i am done i am still getting loaded here at uh rochelle at the rider right quick but i'm gonna be done in maybe a couple of hours my man already came out and said that yo you want to be done in a couple of hours ain't nobody that they're doing is me so i'm pretty good right now all right, so I am out of here. I want to turn around and thank all you guys for watching and hanging out with your boy. Thank you, thank you very much. To the new subscribers, thank you. I appreciate that. Let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. And let's, let's get my videos up in the view count. Share this bad boy, you know, if you guys is liking it so much. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm gone. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching. And what I care is leave the comments. Yes, leave the comments because I will reply to everything that you guys talk to me about. All right? All right, I'm gone. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.